Hey Vestas, what's good? Welcome back to another vloggy, vloggy, vloggy vlog. As you can tell from the title of this video, I have decided to go on a challenge. I feel like since I started my fitness journey, I've just had this hunger, this crave to be better fitness wise, you know, to build muscles, to lose fat, to get my pre-baby body back. Because if you didn't know, I had two babies in two years and now I need me, I need myself back. Okay, that is why I have decided to go on this journey. And this journey is gonna be quite tricky, quite hard, but I am very, very determined to do it. So for the next seven days, I'm gonna be removing rice, sugar, yam, pasta, bread from my diet. I love rice so much. We have the ultimate patty jello rice. We have fried rice. We have coconut rice, banga rice. Different types of rice. I mean, Chinese rice. I like rice, 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 rice everywhere. Like even in my sleep, I see rice. <laughs> and I love me some good rice. I go to a restaurant. What am I ordering? You're right. It's pasta. And bread, I have been trying to get away from it. Two fishes there. <laughs> but no loaf of bread. But from my experience, they make me add weight, okay? They make me get a little bit fat. In this challenge, I'm also gonna be taking myself to the gym to work out. My main goal is to lose fat and build muscles. It's gonna be so hard, but I'm gonna try. I'm liking it, sir. So now that you know what I'm not gonna be having, let's go to what I'll be having. My own system was getting burnt. I'll be having lots of eggs. My eggs are not looking sexy at all. I'm gonna be having plantain, beans, moin moin, vegetables, lots of fruits, yogurt, you know, granola, oats. So I'm gonna be showing you the, what I eat every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, my energy for the day, if I'm losing it or not. As far as my energy level is concerned, my mental health during that period is, is a lot. I just have to like push myself basically. I mean, you know, sugar is good for the body. Like it helps you with energy and all of that. And now I'm gonna be skipping it. I don't know I'm gonna cope, but we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. And I hope you enjoy this challenge. Okay. Yay! I gotta hurry to the gym, right? Because I have a lot, a lot of things to do today. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do now is to make a pre-workout snack and that's gonna be um, smoothie, I think blueberry smoothie and then my protein bar. I'm not really measuring anything because I already know the quantity. I'm not really going to be drinking this right now. Oops, yeah. Because I want to, you know, go on the weight scale. I haven't been on the weight scale in a very long time. And that's because I chose not to. When working out, um, it's best, in my opinion, to me, it's best to always avoid the weight scale. Um, because I don't know it just sort of like discourages you maybe you've not even lost any kg or you've lost just one kg and it's been like a long time since you checked so I don't like checking also I'm trying to like build muscles so that might be adding to it and all of that so I haven't checked in a while it's been I think two to three months since I last checked so I'm gonna check again I think two months yeah so when I get to the gym, I'm gonna check my weight before I have this. So this is currently my tummy, yeah. <laughs> right. So I go to the gym three to four times a week, but most of the times three weeks. I'm trying my best as much as possible to make it to four times a week because believe me, sometimes it can get tiring, but i sometimes see some girls on instagram i mean the ones with abs okay <laughs> it kind of motivates me to like push myself further and go to the gym because i want to have a waist 25 at the end of the day <laughs> so yeah anywho so today was um glutes day at the gym so i basically did um 
sumo squats and um, hip thrust hip thrust i love this exercise so so much um, i just started lifting heavy and carrying heavier weights i mean it's tiring but a friend of mine has told me that's a trainer of mine actually <laughs> and a dear friend told me to start doing heavier weights and um, lesser reps so that is what i have started doing and ah, uh, the first time I did it, I was like, what? Is my spinal cord going to break? But the truth is that, um, you know, you just have to be careful and your form has to be very, very strong and stable and all of that, of which I'm still learning because, yes, I am a gym girly, but I still have lots to learn. Every day is different, different exercises, um, upper body day, lower body day. Um, you know, stuff like that. I'm still trying to learn the names of equipment and the exercises. I just got back from the gym. Girl's tired. Today's workout was great. I loved it. My bum feels pumped. <laughs> that didn't come out right. It was real good. So I want to go have breakfast right now. I actually wrote a timetable because most people believe that without rice, your food is going to be boring so i want to take it upon myself to make sure that my food is enticing enough for me uh and it's not boring for breakfast today i'm gonna to have oats porridge no sugar no honey no dates and then eggs my eggs are not looking sexy at all but hi guys so it's time for dinner um this afternoon i went to the beach and i had um chicken <laughs> it was actually supposed to be chicken and chips like you know they do in landmark beach but i didn't eat the chips i only ate the chicken and then i got um small chops for the kids and then i just ate the chicken so that's the only thing I've had for lunch. I think three pieces of chicken, that's it. I'm having beans and plantain for dinner. This is mine and this is my husband. So you can tell the difference. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like I was even sleeping. Like I was dozing off while finding the plantain. That's why it's even this color. It's not a sexy color at all. But I gotta eat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> Andre, Andre, wait. Hi guys, uh, the time is currently 7 o'clock. I was having a very slow, annoying day, so I haven't eaten. I was editing my YouTube video for Sunday vlog, and um, you know, all the clips deleted because I chose to experiment with one, two, and you know, it was just annoying. I was so hungry in the afternoon, but I just had to, like, you know, forget about food and just concentrate on editing and um, yeah so I didn't have lunch or anything but right now I'm having um, a bowl of pawpaw it's fruit <laughs> but I was so hungry I wanted to have parfait but I like I'm gonna have dinner pretty soon and parfait is quite filling so let me just have this pawpaw it's been a very long time since I had pawpaw uh, so I'm having it now anyways I'm just gonna have this and watch um, Big Brother Eviction. Mm, it's so juicy. <laughs> so it's dinner time, and for dinner, I'm having. <laughs> what? what I know, I'm about to explain, babes. <laughs> I'm having um, potatoes. Um, I air fried it, and um, I'm having soya chicken. And um, this was supposed to be like. A proper salad but um, they didn't have cabbage at the market so and I had to just eat salad so <laughs> this is just carrots and lettuce and I added, I added the um, birata avocado uh, dressing to this and then I'm just going to have some sauce with it so isn't this cheese making me miss rice <laughs> As long as I see food, okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. okay, man. Since yesterday, I've been thinking about rice. I don't know, maybe yeah. because we started. I don't care about rice. As long as I'm not hungry. Okay. Thank you. 
day three of our no rice no bread um, no sugar challenge so i'm having this irish potatoes with sausages avocado and sunny side up egg my sunny side up egg actually got burnt i don't know i think i was trying to perfect the finely cut avocado but you know i didn't, I didn't really perfect it this is not really sexy but it's presentable <laughs> and i'm a sucker for uh, finely arranged food so that's one thing that I'm still learning how to plate nicely let's have a taste mm. Mm. <laughs> are you kidding it's so good what mm. it's really really good and this avocado when I got it the lady said now sweet avocado, I'm like, mm, she was right. <laughs> this avocado is the sweet one because they're different types. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I like the fact that my food is finely decorated. Like it just has some beautiful colors in it. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, it makes me feel like I'm in a restaurant eating what they're serving me but i made this in my house we're getting there <laughs> like we just have like four days to go i mean plus lunch and dinner today but basically have like four days to go i'm not missing rice today i'm not missing bread i'm not missing pasta you guys used to think that i love pasta so much i'm showing you <laughs> but yeah anyway so it's just a light breakfast so i'm going to sit here um attend to some work and enjoy my breakfast. See you all for lunch. Hi, this is my camera is in the house and I'm driving so I actually forgot my camera to be upstairs. I just couldn't be bothered to go back upstairs to get it so money this quality. But I'm picking up this camera to let you guys know that my I'm just having mood swings and I think it's because I'm not really having sugar. It's not like sugar, I'm not really having rice majority of the food that we eat here in Nigeria is basically rice, pasta, noodles. I mean, the options with rice are just endless. You can do rice and stew. You can do rice and beans and stew. You can do Chinese rice. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> and I'm not just um, talking talking like, okay, because I miss rice. No, I just miss energy. Now, these food, these carbs, they give energy. And I've not had that since Saturday. Today is Monday. This is day three. Day three. I've not had something like that. Come on now. I'm, I'm supposed to feel this way. Honestly. <laughs> my husband and I, because we're doing it together, yeah? My husband is already tired. He's like, he needs to stop. He wants to stop. But if I stop, he would stop. <laughs> right now, I'm just pushing. It's, it's just by God's grace, honestly. I'm just pushing because I don't even have strength to do anything at all. I'm driving to the supermarket i feel like maybe if i have swallow swallow is usually very heavy um i love my pound of yam but i'm not gonna be having pound of yam so i feel like if i should just get um swallow like wheat or oats and just make it very nice it was a soup with plenty protein in it i feel like i'll be fine i don't know just having that to you know make all the difference so I'm driving to go get that right now. Um, like I am on my last energy. I don't even know if I'll be able to go to the gym today. Like it's crazy. And I really wanted to go today. Well, if I can't go to the gym today, I'll just save my strength. After eating, I would run on the treadmill for like um say 30 minutes. No, I wouldn't run, no, I wouldn't run. I think I would just walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes. It's few minutes to midnight and um, I'm going to be having my vitamin C supplements. Um, I take it every day. I didn't take it yesterday though and I didn't take it day for yesterday so I'm taking it today. Anyways, so um, I didn't have any dinner tonight because the wheat swallow that I had, I, I had at around 5 p.m. because normally every time I want to go to the gym in the evening, I would, I would normally like have an early 
dinner so that when I go to the gym I work it out you know stuff like that or if I come back I'm just gonna have something very light but after having that swallow I slept off <laughs> I slept off so heavy and that's how I didn't go to the gym like I already told myself look I'm not gonna just keep myself and go to the gym I'll go to the gym tomorrow morning <laughs> so yeah guys that's why I'm still filled up uh, so I'm just going to drink this and call it a night and I'm really excited that I completed day 3 like today today tested my strength <laughs> my mindset my mentality like I almost gave up this afternoon from what you guys could see I almost gave up but I persevered and it worked out well so I'm very happy about that anyways I'll see you guys tomorrow for breakfast I can't believe that we're almost done. I mean, this is day four. I just have three more days to go. <laughs> I mean, I still have like today to go. There are three more days. <laughs> but anyway, the time is like 12.03. I slept really late last night. I haven't eaten anything. I just went downstairs now to make moi moi. That's, you know, obviously beans. And then that's what I'm going to be having for breakfast. But that's going to take like a very long time ready to get ready so for now i'm just gonna have some watermelon shot you guys have seen me make this most of the food that i'm eating you guys have seen me make it like moi moi i have like if not two videos of me making moi moi and then this is my watermelon shot is in one of my vlogs so i don't really have the strength <laughs> to be carrying my camera to you know recording um everything that i'm cooking because i'm trying to save my strength okay this requires a lot of energy <laughs> and that is something I don't have right now because no rice, no pasta, no bread but it's cool I'm just gonna have like two shots yeah it's not it's not much at all oh god I can never go wrong with watermelon juice are you kidding it is so good mm. So refreshing, so cold, like everything just sits right with this juice. One down, one to go. I love it <laughs> so much. All right, anyhow, so um, I want to go do something about my hair. And um, I will see you guys when it's time for breakfast. That's like the word to be at your fingertips. It is the thing to do. But classical music is. It's much, much, much later in the day, and I'm on my way to the gym. Let me give you guys a quick story, yeah? I mean, it's not really a story per se. <laughs> but I honestly didn't want to go to the In fact, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't plan, I didn't plan rather on going to the gym the whole of this week because I know that I'll need energy and I'm not having foods that will give me energy. But at the same time, I want to build muscle uh, in some certain areas of my body. So I have to go to the gym and lift weight. Okay. So I just have to like push myself basically. The moi moi and oat that you guys saw me have this morning. That's like the only thing that I've had all day like nothing else apart from that so what i'm gonna have for pre-workout snacks slash lunch today is this um nature valley protein bar um you guys know it's my favorite not really my favorite because i haven't really tested or tried other protein bars but this is the one that you know i always use so yeah i'm gonna be having that and um i will get smoothie i think they usually call you breakfast smoothie at the gym when i get there so that should you know fill me up yeah till i get back home so let's go work this body out and build those muscle my dedication is everything guys honestly like this is freaking day four 
day four and I am still pushing I actually feel way better today than yesterday I don't know like I feel I still feel stronger today than yet yesterday I was at my wit's end <laughs> I was gave up yesterday but now I'm a strong girl so yeah anyways let's go to the gym Oh my god, this is so good. Ah, oh, this feels like real food. I mean, I had real food today, <laughs> but this is so so good. Can you guys see this? Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this 10 out of 10. Every time I cook, I keep surprising myself. Anyways, I used a lot of my energy to cook, so I'm just going to go to the living room, watch some Netflix, and enjoy my dinner. Top of the morning, besties! Today's Wednesday, and I feel good. I'm not even trying to, like, you know, say that I don't. Okay. I think this is better. By the way, I'm making pancakes. This is like most. My owner's the most getting burnt. Jesus Christ, what was I thinking? So I woke up this morning with high strength and everything. Like I feel really, really good today. Okay, I think the only thing that's happening right now is um, I'm having waist pain and that's because I went to the gym yesterday and it was um, glutes day. So, you know, doing deadlift and all, nah, killed my waist. But apart from that, I feel good. I feel lighter this morning. Like, yeah, like way lighter. Like my tummy is flat. <laughs> that's how light I feel. <laughs> So I think that's a good thing. I'm just trying to make um, an interesting breakfast. I feel like when you try to make your meals interesting, the challenge doesn't get too boring, if you know what I mean, like, because you're eating good, okay? So the trick of making like pancake taco is to evenly flatten the, not really evenly, but really flatten the, um, <laughs> the mixture, okay, so that it's way foldable. I mean, I don't like big pancakes, but for the purpose of this meal, it's gonna have to be big. So this was the size that I initially wanted, but <laughs> it was getting too much.
no more tacos they're like crunchy and all of that but this is like real soft because it's pancake it's meant to be soft and go ahead and add the sausages so now it's like hot dog <laughs> I'm coming for you. Now I'm gonna add some bacon on top. I'm gonna be pairing this up with some vitamin C. Definitely put in um, your cup of vitamin C or your cup of tea, whatever, <laughs> beside the um, pancake taco helps a great deal with um, the shape the presentation sort of so I really do like this mm. turn out of time hi guys so it is the evening six I think just six o'clock five and six so let's just say six o'clock um, I'm getting ready to go to the gym so this afternoon around 4 I had uh, a late lunch yeah I had a late lunch or let me say a very early dinner I had oats and afag soup so oats is like the swallow yeah because most people think that oats is like you know you only use for like pancakes and um what do you call it oat porridge but you can also use to make swallow um so i had that and then um, i had afan too because of its plenty of protein and the vegetables and everything so i mean the food was really really good i loved it so after eating that i felt so heavy <laughs> but i'm like you know what I'm gonna go to the gym actually I said I was going to sleep but then I saw something if you eat less um, move more strength train you would lose body fat and build muscles I don't know I saw that thing like five minutes ago I said okay let me say ten minutes ago and it just motivated me <laughs> it just motivated me to get my ass up and go to the gym so that is what I'm doing today by the way <laughs> I'm now tying scarf to the gym because this period I just couldn't be bothered. So this is how you feel used to feel. I mean, I still feel a little bit, tiny bit awkward tying scarf to the gym, but like it's not bad at all at all. Mm -mm, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys at the gym on that. So back from the gym, and I am hungry. Uh, not really hungry per se. Just that I want to have something sweet. Like I'm just craving something because that um, oats swallow was really heavy so i'm really craving something nice i feel like i just need to have dinner because that food was like 4 30 p.m <laughs> and now it's nine o'clock so i made me some blueberry um cup i was gonna say blueberry bowl but it's not blueberry bowl i made me some blueberry put some granola and some nuts in it close the door please all right Okay. Yeah. Half. yeah, we're gonna have something nice, huh? Aren't we? <laughs> okay. Yes, your name is Andrew. Everybody knows that. Mm. Cool. Say, can I have some, please? Yes. No, you say, can I have some, please? Yes. Say, please. mommy. Please. Good boy. Okay. Ah, you're going. Ah, you stay my 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 couch. Give it to me. Ah, give me food. Give me food. It's so yummy. Andrew took my spoon, so I'm using this. I could as well like drink it. it. Yeah, I could as well drink it, but what happened? I don't know. <laughs> It makes like a whole lot of sense that I'm just like drinking soup, <laughs> but I'm not. But my brain thinks I'm drinking cold soup. You get what I mean? 
I know I'm a mess, but that's what happens when you have a child or children. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow for breakfast. Guys, there's one fly that is looking for my trouble. <laughs> I love killing flies a lot. It is day six of the no rice, no sugar, no pasta, no bread challenge. <laughs> and I feel pretty good. Like, I feel so light. I don't know, I feel so light. My stomach has never been flatter, if you guys can see. Let me try and suck my belly in. <laughs> Breathe out. <laughs> see, my belly has never been flatter like this for days to go. So I'm really happy about that. Anyhow, um, the time is almost 12, if not past 12. My phone is somewhere around there. And um, I haven't had breakfast. These days, when I wake up, I don't feel the urge to have breakfast again and if you guys know me you know that i love having breakfast like i do not skip breakfast for anything um do i like it no i don't like it but does it mean that i'm gonna eat less food like i just have to you know do like lunch and dinner yes as opposed to sometimes it's in three times a day i don't know i think what i just said is like jargons but i understand what i mean i just saw another fly I missed it. Shit. I missed it. Me hitting uh, the stool affected Andre, so he's crying. <laughs> anyway, um, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna have um, a papa bowl. Papaya bowl. So if you guys watch what I eat in a week, I made papa bowl and that is what I'm gonna make again today. I have this very huge ass papa. <laughs> When I sent my girl to get this, I didn't know that she would get this big one. Normally I would just eat like half, like half of half. Why is that fly just... Sorry guys, I can't focus when this... Fuck, I missed again. This papa has already been raised, so what you want to do is cut it in half. Like it's so easy to cut. Oh. And there you have this. So I'm just going to remove the seeds. Remove all the seeds. There was a day I tried eating this seed. <laughs> I think I was so young then. Oh my God, it was so bitter. There's some things that I'm not liking in this papa. So I'm just removing it. Greek yogurt. Put like two spoons in it and just spread it all around. Just like in the middle part, basically. I'm gonna add some granola to have like a bit of, you know, crunch in it. I mean, not girl, so I'm gonna add a little bit of pistachio to it teeny little bits this also gives it you know like some colors and makes it <laughs> very enticing i'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds also yeah and last but not the least i'm gonna add a few pieces of walnuts oh that's not last but not the least this is last but not the least, okay? I'm gonna add some cacao nibs. I love this so much, like cacao nibs. Oh, it has my heart, it's my favorite. And there we have it, papaya bowl. Maybe you guys can see this, but I'm just going to like, oops, cut out of it, take some yogurt. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's like ice cream. Mmm. But like purple kind of ice cream. <laughs> Every time I eat this, it bangs. 
and I eat this once in a while. It never disappoints. Am I gonna finish this whole purple? I don't know. <laughs> Just look at that, guys. Some purple walnuts and some yogurt. Mm. Oh my god, there's like this crunchiness. <laughs> I'm sorry, but by now you guys already know I get so excited about food. This is like a very easy way to just eat without cooking. And you know you're eating healthy, okay? Come on, babies. Day six. Day six. Mmm. I know the weather is so beautiful. I think I'm gonna go for a swim today. Just like I burn like extra calories and all. And then I'm gonna do some editing also. And call it a day. Woo. It's lunch time. For lunch today, I'm having catfish pepper soup. I got two fishes there, <laughs> but no loaf of bread. <laughs> Instead, we have a red plantain. <laughs> Oof, I think it's so soft. So, I know I was gonna eat it twice as I cooked that. This smells like what they sell. At this point, I think I'm gonna be a plantain and pepper soup girly, not say yam and pepper soup girly. Cause this bangs. Or maybe I'm just trying to console myself, but I really don't. <laughs> this bangs. Mm. Anyways, um, they're actually so far. And I wanna go to the gym today. That would mean I'll be going to the gym three times this week. That's if I go today. I really wanna go though. I'm gonna go today and I won't go tomorrow. I'll rest tomorrow so that on Saturday I can do a close up that like four times in a week. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I think that this might just become my lifestyle. I mean, if I can just get through today to tomorrow, I'm not even feeling angry or anything. I still feel very okay. I still feel full. Like, you guys know I had that purple and around 12 ish and now this is to fall like i wasn't really hungry i just knew that i'm going to the gym i'll need some strength so that's why i'm eating this if not not really feeling so hungry so and i'm and i'm not even taking any supplements that will like suppress my food intake or anything no i'm not even extremely extremely busy like i was the previous week no like everything is just chill you know so i'm really happy about it listen after that pepper soup i rested i rested i rested for like mm, let's say 20 minutes because i told myself that come what me i want to go to the gym like even if it's four times this week i want to go to the gym at a point in time when i woke up i was like <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe I should just take a swim. It will still, you know, add us some more cow. But I remember that today's leg day. And you know I'm a leg day girl. <laughs> like I love leg days. <laughs> so there was no way I was gonna skip today. Duh. <laughs> as far as my energy level is concerned, I still have a lot of energy. Maybe not a lot, a lot, but like I still have energy to like do one or two things at the gym funny enough let me be very real i know i'm on this journey to like shed some fat and everything but i definitely not be shocked if i jump on the scale and see that my weight is still the same or it's actually increased no i won't be scared because i am building muscle and i don't know some people say that um muscle don't make you add and stuff like that I don't know i feel i feel heavy in some parts of my body okay like my thighs feel heavy my legs my butt feels heavy so i don't i don't know i don't know okay but we'll see all right we'll see but yeah 
um, that's why it's not really great to have like so much expectations <laughs> even for human beings in general it's not great to have so much expectation talk less of the weight well but when I'm done with this video I'm not checking again till like say December okay I like to like space it I'm not stabbing myself as you guys can see from the video that I'm showing you I'm eating well I'm eating good I'm having a good diet that is not balanced <laughs> but I'm eating real good class like that but I loved it like it was fun maybe because of the music and the way the instructor was like you know giving us some ginger and everything it just made me love it more I wish you guys heard it I don't think if you guys heard it but the ginger was ginger that's all I can say about it <laughs> now my body feels really really tight like when I say tight like my cores are hard funny enough after the spring class I didn't even have to do any workout like I just went home went straight up on the treadmill for like um let's say 20 minutes yeah so i can complete my 10k steps for the day <laughs> so don't just think i'm out here just um removing rice and pasta from my diet and bread i am no i'm working okay i'm working out i know i look a mess but don't worry maintenance vlog is coming next week okay like it's high time just i don't have strength to sit at the salon or anywhere for like two to three hours so that they can get me up uh, I can't do that and so I'm gonna go have this ding ding and um, I will see you guys tomorrow which is gonna be the last day of the challenge I'm so excited <laughs> good night guys hi my loves it is day Look, if you've not had rice in one week, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Because this is the last day. I can't believe I've come this far. Like, it's been a journey. <laughs> I woke up really early this morning. You know that thing that they say about um, sleep early so you can wake up early? Yes, that's what I did. When I say I slept real early, that was uh, 11 p.m. Yes, 11 p.m. That would be early because I normally go to bed around 2 a.m., 3, 1. Like, I really have a bad sleep schedule. 
because of the kids and working. You know, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I really don't mind. As I woke up this morning around 4 a.m. and I've been awake since then, so I did some editing and all of that. But the thing about sleeping early is to wake up early is that you get hungry. <laughs> that is why you're seeing me in this kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, I just tried to manage to like, okay, this is to seven, so it's good, it's, it's good to eat. I'm making um, plantain, air fried plantain instead of the soft one. I love the soft one, okay? I love the one that you fry in oil. I love it, okay? I think I'm gonna have that tomorrow. <laughs> but for today, I put it in the air fryer it's already fried and everything i just made some eggs and now i'm just going to serve myself is on blasting away and then my microphone is somewhere maybe in my car or my father I don't know okay um, but I just like how I woke up so early today I've you know taken a shower um, having breakfast the kids are not awake like everybody's just sleeping and minding their business and I have this <laughs> I have this quiet peace Silence all around. <laughs> Is it weird? I don't know, but I'm liking it. So I think I might, you know, make it into a habit of waking up very early, like going to bed early, so I can wake up very early. But yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys for lunch. We are done with our challenge <laughs> this challenge tried me what <laughs> i think it made me feel way way stronger than i ever thought like i know i can do without bread i know i can do without sugar but rice rice Let me rice cube this challenge has really 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 helped me a lot like my tummy fat is 80% gone I'm not even kidding it's 80% gone so this is currently my tummy yeah I haven't eaten anything at this event. apart from this love handles you can already see my abs popping out guys look can you guys see Now you can find yourself working out so hard for like three months, four months and at the end of the day, you check your weight scale and you see that after four months of intensive training at the gym, you know, um, skipping out some food, being on a healthy lifestyle, you find out that you've only lost one kg. It's going to like discourage you okay so that is why i don't do that like i said i'm building muscles when my thighs get thicker and bigger something has grown when my bum gets thicker and bigger something has grown okay so it's not gonna feel the same on the weight scale mm -mm, it's not so i feel like i said before i feel like muscle definitely adds to your weight doesn't mean that you're unhealthy or whatever but in my opinion, I'm going to try as much as possible to remove rice from my diet. Not completely because let me tell you, your body needs it, okay? Your body needs those carbs. As long as you know that your body fat is extremely low, then you're good. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe because we have more challenge coming soon. Mwah. Bye.